Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video and as you guys can see on your screen We have finally hit Masters it looks so clean to have your bar filled out. It looks super cool now Obviously the series is road to number one So I have to get first in the world the issue is I cannot get a single game patches like five or six games above the base of Masters at the very top and I just can't get a game I've been in matchmaking for so long it's literally not possible we thought we got one game after like an hour but it got dodged so I'm just gonna show you guys the replays of my final games before Masters they were really intense we faced a handful of just pro players absolute beasts so we're gonna show you guys what happened we're gonna show you guys the draft and all that let's hop into it and let's show you guys the intense final games to masters so going into the first game we have flacco and his livy on our team we're going to be going up against sam tyrant and toast so the teams are pretty fair they have a really good team i we got the first pick barley which is the strongest brawler to first pick on this map they followed up going rico and bell we followed up going with the dog so we can get those trees for our barley and our mid and then i followed up with brock and tyrant went ahead and took bull so the reason we have this comp is because it's just really good control and once we get the power-ups to myself and Flacco being a Barley, we should be in a really good position. Facing a Bull, it's really easy also for us to get Super. As you guys can see, I hit a really good gadget over there, followed it up with a good Super, and then got Toast to one shot. So this is going to allow Flacco to just go on the safe and shoot away. I'm going to take a couple shots, and as an Incinerary Brock, I'm doing a ton of damage to that safe. His Livy's doing a really good job just kind of holding back his lane, because he's not supposed to necessarily win lane as the dog. He's just supposed to give us power-ups and enable us to win our lanes really well, but he's doing that. He is winning his lanes. I'm going to be able to take out Toast really easily. Same thing with uh, Flacco in his lane, and his Livy also gets Tyrant down, but as you guys can see, there's nothing more really left of this game. So you're going to be able to take the first game 1-0 pretty easily. Let's hop into the second. So going into game number two, obviously comps remain the same as it's Power League. It's best of three, um, and we kind of have the same strategy. Now, I didn't want to just use my big rocket immediately and break the grass because that's what I did game one so I tried to bait toast into it but I think he baited me into using my gadget which was a really good play by toast is Livy has tyrant right where he wants him kind of in this like little area where he can just constantly hit shots it's really easy for him he's gonna go ahead and pick up that power up first though I probably should have picked it up um, the dog isn't really the greatest with power up, but he has been hitting Tyrant a lot So I guess it's not the end of the world plus he gets his second one 30 seconds into the game So as Libby's popping off on the dog right now for sure Blackos holding his own on the barley lane The thing with barley is that they're not really gonna go any other throwers because you can counter it So being a barley against a non thrower is just super easy to win lane and stuff like that Like it's it's just such a good brawler in power league for the first pick We're able to take out Tyrant I'm able to take out Toast, so now we have triple power-ups one minute into the game, and we're barely losing. As you guys can see, Tyrant walks up. I'm going to hit him three times over there. Going to be able to get him down again with my super. He didn't play too well necessarily in this set um, on the bull, just because it was a little bit challenging. We kind of had the counters for the bull, but being the very final pick on this map, there wasn't really an option for him to go that would have really worked out. Maybe Dynamite, but I don't think he plays much Dynamite. So you also have to play Brawlers within your Brawler pool. He's a really good bull. So I guess it does make sense why he played bull. I guess it just didn't really work out against our comp. Flacco's doing obviously a great job as the power up Barley over there on that side. Tyrant tries to make a play. Unfortunately for him, we're all powered up so he can't really do anything. Toast is just chilling in the middle, but with me being a powered up Brock and Toast being Toast, it's a, just a pretty easy lane win. You guys can see Flacco gets a super on the safe. Is Livy's chipping it down. He's going to walk forward. He's going to shoot it twice. And that is going to be game two. A pretty clean 2-0 sweep, and that got my bar up pretty high. It got us to 2 away. I'm not going to show you guys the second last game because it took a while, but we did go up against... Okay, I forgot, but we went up against Charles Flacco, who was on our team last game, and Falcon, who's a pretty good player with Lazy Rain, myself, and Zulon. It was a really close game. Um, game 2, we were winning 8-0, and then they came back. They spawn-trapped us with the Sprout. That was really good, but games 1 and 3, we 10-0'd them. They're pretty clean games, as you guys can tell by the time it took us to beat them. So let's hop into our final match to Masters, show you guys who we faced, show you guys the draft, show you guys everything, let's hop into it, and let's see what happens. So our teammates are going to be myself, Lazy Rain again, and then it's Livy again. And we're going to be going up against Zulon, Sly Frixie, who's on IX Academy, very, very good player, and Luki's Dyna. So three really good players. So this is definitely a deserving Masters game, 100%. The first pick was Luki's Dyna. I think they wanted to keep the Dyna away from me as I've been popping off on the Dyna recently. 
Um, and then we went ahead and we picked Carl for the first bolt, and then we took the dog because his Livy's it's just been an absolute unit on this brawler. It's good into there, into the uh, just map with all the walls and stuff. So they're gonna go ahead and then take Primo and BB, and this is where I think they lost the game because what happened was is Libby went from you know kind of being countered by the Dyna to going up against two tanks and maybe he's not necessarily able to kill the tanks fully but what he can do is get power-ups for myself who then chose Rico to counter the tanks and then Lazy Rain who Carl I mean is just kind of good into everything doesn't really have a weakness so the game is pretty even right now um, we don't really want this bot, but we kind of at the same time need this bot because if they're going all in with a 10 bot with a dynamite a primo and a BB they're going to finish it because we don't have anything that's really that good at defense. I screw up over there going too close to Zula and he's able to get take me out and get the kill. And we get this bot which we had to win but we kind of don't want to win. Lazy Rain goes down. So we're kind of screwed here. Zula, or is Livy, sorry, gives me the power up because I'm the DPS. I know we can't really attack really well so I try and hit a crazy, you know, lineup super collateral type of thing so we can do some damage. But we're not going to be able to do so. And we get 28%. So we are down just awful right now. Like, this was not supposed to happen. I get a full clip and do 12% to the Ike. Now, I did this, you know, because there's no way we're winning the game with 28% all that they have to do. Only one of the three brawlers could go in, so I went for a little bit of a dive. I was hoping to do more damage because I had the power up, but Zulan took me out quite quickly. Um, we're almost going to get a kill over there on Zulan, which would have been really game-changing, but unfortunately we're not able to get it. As Libby's going to pick up the power-up that he had on the ground, and he's going to do some additional damage. So we now actually have some form of damage on the Ike. The issue is that they have a Dynamite. Lazy Rain catches the bot right at the top. Luki gets caught off guard. He walks in, he dies. So now this game is winnable. I pick up the bot, or sorry, the treat. We do some good damage. I get a Pierce Super on Zulan and the bot, and then somehow... I don't know how, but somehow this game was won by us by 2%. We did not deserve this win whatsoever. We like They threw so ridiculously hard. We did not deserve the win. We got it anyways. So let's hop into game two, and let's show you guys what happened in game two. So going into game two, we decided to change up our strategy for the first spot. We didn't want a repeat of what happened last time I was streaming. As you guys know, we have crazy streams where everyone watches Power League. We have one every single night. You guys should definitely tune in. And his Livy was, you know, he's in the stream. Everyone's kind of just there chilling. He's going to come to the right side to help me get that uh, second bolt. Now, why does he do that? Because we have a Carl. The Carl is 100% going to get the first bolt on their side. So I just wanted help for that second bolt. We weren't necessarily able to get it, but we did, you know, kind of win the lanes a lot cleaner than we did the first time. We get a nice double kill over there. Lazy Rain does counter Luki, so he's having a pretty easy time on him over there. He's able to get the kill. And then against tanks, I mean, they're really good players, Frixie and Zulan, like unbelievable players. But it's tanks. I'm a powered up Rico, so this isn't really the hardest thing in the world. I'm whiffing, but even by me whiffing, they're just not able to kill me. I'm just speed Rico running around. Lazy Rain does an incredible job over there and kills Sly Frixie. And now we're triple powered up. We're winning in bolts 9 to 4 at the moment. So we're going absolutely crazy. And they're just tanks pushing into a Rico and Carl and the dog. So, I mean, what really can they do besides kind of just die? Um, we're trying our best not to let them get any bolts because we also, just in case, want to be able to win that third bot. Lazy Rain gets an incredible kill over there as Livy's just absolutely tapping up and going insane. As Livy played insane the two games that we're showing in, uh, in these YouTube videos. Or in this YouTube video, sorry, as Livy went absolutely crazy. But anyways, we're going for the all-in here. Try and do as much damage as possible. They have a really good defensive comp though, so we're not able to. Lazy Rain all-ins... I was going to get one shot and run out, but then Zulan hits me there. So we're left with 10% on their Ikes. We need to do one Rico Super or one dive in order to do it. I think his Livy's also thinking about this in his head right now. I didn't really communicate it but in the stream, but I think he's definitely thinking about it. He's doing a really good job tapping this Primo. All we got to do is kill this Primo and we're able to get the win. He gets some really nice shots on it. I have my Super. I'm going to walk in. I'm going to clip the Ike. And that is it. I thought I needed two more games after this one, but because there were two legendary threes on the other side, that was a big ELO game, and we got enough, and we are at the very, 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 very bottom of Masters because of that. Now, I want to play some Masters games for you guys. Obviously, I want to hit first, but as you guys can see, if I click play, we're going to be stuck here at one out of six for a very long time. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you guys 
some live games right now but i'm hoping you know in the next couple days that people are going to be able to get up to legendary three legendary two and the matchmaking is going to be quicker or maybe they can make a little bit of a change because we're not able to get a game in masters but with that being said we're obviously not going to stop the power league series power league is the most fun thing in the game so yesterday i played an hour on my mini i got my mini from silver two to diamond one we're going to get it as high as possible we got like three max brawlers so we're going to see what we can do but the goal for the mini is masters as well so with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed the replays of the games. Obviously, live games are much better, but as I just showed you guys, I can't really get that for you guys right now. So we're going to see what happens, but that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys want to continue seeing Masters Power League content, keep the, you know, just put the thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all that. As you guys know, it helps a ton. That's going to be it for me today. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. See you guys then. Peace.